OK, so I've got this site, keywordresearchlab.com, which I originally had big plans for because I used to be very heavily involved with keyword research. And I, will, I mean, I still am, but not to the same extent. And I don't have the interest in continuing and developing a site just based on keyword research. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to let this domain expire when it comes up for renewal. Um, but I want to retain some of the posts because a lot of the posts on here are worth having and they do actually rank well in Google as well. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to uh, take these posts off this website and put them onto my Easy SEO News website. And I'll put them into a category that I already have called Keyword Research on here. So that's what I want to show you in the video. I want to show you how I'm going to go about it. Now first things first, this keywordresearchlab.com website only has 12 posts, which if we have a look at them, there's some that I don't want to keep anymore. For example, um, KRA Pro is no longer available. That's my software which I've retired, so that is, is an irrelevant article now. So I'm going to highlight that one, that one, niche bot. In fact, I don't even have to delete these because um, I can choose which category. I can actually go by category if I want to. But let's delete the ones I don't want. Uh, WordPress Word Tracker. I'm that review is wasn't really finished anyway. Market Samurai review. We'll keep that one. And bulk action. We'll move those to trash. Okay, so that leaves me now with eight articles that I want to transfer. So if I go over to Tools and Export, uh, I can say, right, I'm going to export posts. I want to export all categories because I've deleted the ones I didn't want, KRA Pro ones. All authors, start date, end date, everything's fine. I can just click on Download Export File. You can see it's now downloading and I'm going to show that in the folder so I can see where it's downloaded to. Okay, so there's the downloaded file there. Just close that window up a little bit, keep it open. Now I want to import it into my Easy SEO News website so we go over to the dashboard there and we go to Tools, Import. Okay, and the one that we want from this list is WordPress. We do actually have to install a plugin for this, so you should always back up your database before you do anything like this. And you can see that it even says it hasn't been tested with this version of WordPress. But I've backed up my database, so let's install. And we're going to activate and run the importer. Okay, and then I can choose the file from the download folder. And I'm going to upload the file and import. Okay, import author, that's me, or create a username, no, that's fine. I want to assign the posts to me and download and import file attachments and it says we're all done now so let's go over to the posts and once it's imported it actually will import into the same category as it was on the old site so on the old site let's have a look at the categories Keyword Research, Market Samurai. So I should have two categories now. There's one Market Samurai, it's Filter. Okay, and those are the imported. Keyword Research was the other one. So, oops, let's have a look at that category. and we've got those files imported as well. The only thing I want to do is I want to change all of those imported ones over to the category keyword research. Now 
the SE cockpit ones here are already in the Kiwi Research category. But let's um, we're going to quick edit and change these. So we'll get rid of Market Samurai and put it into Keyword Research and update. And the next one, quick edit, put into Keyword Research. I'm just going to pause the video until I finish that. Okay, now I've finished that, so I can go over to my categories and look for the Market Samurai category which as you can see here now has zero posts and that one KRA Pro has zero posts, NicheBot has zero posts those were categories that were imported with the posts Okay, and I'm going to just delete those categories Okay, the only thing is I don't have on my site a category um, box in the sidebars so from the home page you can't find that content I'm not overly worried about it it's not content that I'm desperate to drive traffic to and if it was I would just put in a, a link to the keyword research category somewhere on the home page but uh, those pages those posts should now be on the site site map so you can see here they are at the top keyword research ones so Google will pick them up and index them and they should then start being found in the search engines as well. So that's how you import posts from one site to another. The only thing maybe you'll need to do is just check to make sure any images um, don't need uploading again, or if you've got any hard links in your old um, on your old site content, so you had a, a, a hard-coded link from one page to another, then obviously when you delete your old site or delete the content on the old site, those links will be broken. So you do just need to make sure that you don't have to change, you know, if there aren't any links to change around.